out right here. See where these people are standing? Where that X is on the ground. This is the route that President Kennedy took when he got shot. That's the grassy knoll right up there. Right up there. It's the famous grassy knoll. And the book depositories over there. Hello everyone, Greg here today. I'm in Dallas, Texas at Dealey Plaza where President Kennedy was shot in 1963. I just wanted to come here and pay my respects, kind of get a feel for the area and to kind of get a better understanding of what happened on that day. So let's go take a look. First and most obvious thing to me is the X in the middle of the road. It's kind of strange though that there's, there's three X's so they're not exactly sure where it happened anymore. And then that being the first shot, and then down a little bit further here is the second shot. And right now I'm actually walking on the grassy knoll, the famous grassy knoll, up to the top where Zabruder filmed his famous clip from the assassination. It would have been right here, this exact spot. You can kind of get an idea of what the clip like from right up here and there's a lot of people here already today filming their own little memorabilia here and we're kind of in this structure that surrounds the plaza a little bit there's the, the spot where Zabruder was and over here is a plaque from a speech that President Kennedy was to deliver we in this country in this generation are by destiny rather than choice the watchmen on the walls of world freedom just imagining the car coming down this spot right here traveling down this route right like that so i guess i'll learn a little bit more about where people thought the second shooter was here on the grassy knoll but i mean if zabruder was here standing on this pillar and they think the second shooter was also on the grassy knoll would he have to have been over in this corner right nearby near to him wouldn't he and it is a little bit steep going down the grassy knoll here imagine all the people that would have been standing right here watching president kennedy come by this is where the second shot would have happened up there a little bit further is where the first now here's the book depository and i think i can't quite see it from this angle and honestly i don't want to step out into the road this is kind of a busy road but i think that is the sixth floor window right there and here's a plaque here on the ground it says that dealey plaza has been designated a national historic landmark in 1993. so we just came up these stairs from the grassy knoll area but over here in the corner is this fence and again i don't know the whole story but is it possible that the shooter could have been on the other side of this fence and hit him would have had to hit him over this wall there and then there you could almost do it from this angle some people have signed on the fence here jfk of course that fence is probably not here back then but that spot would be a good spot to do the deed and then escape so i don't know so when a newspaper goes all over the world and there's 10 news shows in every city and you're only called by one that tells you something and then this is a pretty good view of the structure that's at the top of the grassy knoll there again with the Zapruder column right over there I think there was a plaque there I was gonna go check out Dallas dressmaker Abraham Zapruder stood on top of this pedestal properly called a plinth with his receptionist Marilyn Sitzman standing behind to steady him he was the only photographer known to have filmed the entire assassination and his images proved crucial to understanding what happened Zapruder made copies of his film available to investigators within hours of the president's death Yep, you would have been standing right here. Unfortunately, you can't see too good now with the tree growing down. But if you stand next to the pedestal, which is where I'm at, you can get basically the same view as you could that he had. All 
All right, one last look from the grassy knoll. There's a Zapruder spot right here. And here's the X there on the road. And the other X there. So now we're gonna go up to the museum. And I don't think I'm allowed to film up there, but hopefully I can take photographs. So this is the uh, book depository, which is now the museum. And I think if I count up, this being floor number one, two, three, four, five, and then six, right up there, number six, right there. That should be the window where he shot from. And here's a plaque on the side of the building, formerly the Texas School Book Depository Building.
So I didn't film very much at all in the actual museum itself. They didn't really want me to, so um, I just decided to abide by the rules, but I don't think they said anything about filming up here, but I'm on the seventh floor. You can see basically the same angle that uh, Oswald would have had. Maybe a little bit lower to the ground though. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. All right, so we've completed our tour of the Sixth Floor Museum. It's mostly a collection of photographs, not a lot of actual artifacts up there, but it was still pretty good. Also, we're here back at the Grassy Knoll, and one of the things that I want to start doing is just collecting a little piece of the history, the dirt, from that particular location. And I have collected a little bit of dirt and a little bit of grass from the Grassy Knoll. And I'm sitting right here, right in front of the Zabruder spot right here. So, very historic location. I'm taking a little bit of it home with me. All right, heading down, heading down the grassy knoll. We're gonna go over to the, um, there's a memorial over, I think, believe it's over here. We're gonna head over that way. And there's the view the president would have had as he was driving down the road. All right, so we've made it over to the John F. Kennedy Memorial Plaza. It's a little bit of a different walk than I thought it would be, but this is not at all what I expected. I expected more of a statue of President Kennedy here we have here on the ground. Joy and excitement of John Fitzgerald. Kennedy's life belonged to all men. Looks kind of like some giant Lego bricks to me. And then right in the center of this square is this memorial. Yep, that's pretty much all there is to it. Kind of hoping for maybe a water fountain or something or a statue but that's it one last view from the other side of the street all right everybody from the site of dealey plaza the location of the kennedy assassination the grassy knoll up here thank you all for watching i appreciate it take care and remember the adventures in you. Bye-bye, everybody. We shall pay any price, bear any burden, meet any hardship, support any friend, oppose any foe to assure the survival and the success of liberty.